Well, the long-awaited day of the fully electric brewery has finally arrived. Here's the main panel. Hot liquor tank. I'm testing a little water. Mash tun and the boil kettle, of course. So there's the pumps. Just cheap little pumps. This is about as budget of a build as you can do. I've got a leak here on uh, where I welded those boxes to the keg. I'm going to have to take that apart. This is how I did the keg pigtails to get the power to the elements. All of the high load items are down in here. The solid state relays and the main contactors. So there's outlets for the pumps here on the box. I used RCA jacks for the thermal couples. Pump control. Still got a couple leaks. I have to uh, make some hose clamps and tighten up these hoses. This just recirculates the hot liquor tank water. Then the other pump will recirculate the mash. And there is no pump associated with the boil kettle. Still not a cheap project. All of these components, all of the solder, all of the wire, and a heck of a lot of time to put this together. But it's fairly clean. One line to hook it up. And uh, that's on a four wire ground fault circuit protected system. It's a drop cord from back on the wall. So this makes good beer. Now I just need to make beer and learn all of the peculiarities of making the beer. I'm currently getting about 241 volts, about 21.6 amps. 5,100 total watts, 5,200 total watts of power. And that's about the system. Oh, I have a make or break switch, so it's either element, never both. So I'll never theoretically exceed 25 or 26 amps, even with both pumps on. With one pump on, it's about 23 amps. So the pumps are about 2 amps a piece.